you are an educator by day mm -hmm. and a writer by night. Mm -hmm. yeah. So tell us a little bit about that. Okay, so I work at Northwestern University and yeah. I work with the uh, faculty to help them develop their teaching and I run workshops and uh, do research on learning and teaching and I uh, do some research on uh, historical issues too and um, uh -huh. so I spend a lot of time during the day doing that. Um, I also teach history classes. Um, right. But uh, yeah, at night time I spend some time, uh, when once the kids are in bed I you know, pull out either my laptop or my notepad and I just mm -hmm. start dreaming and writing. <laughs> now some writers uh, I've heard that they have a similar situation. They, they have a, a job mm -hmm. and then they come home and write and they look at the, their writing as their reward mm -hmm. after a long day of work. Do you mm -hmm. sort of Totally look at my that reward. Way? I mean, I do love my job, <laughs> yeah. but, um, but I, I do view writing as always just, it really is just kind of a pleasure and a joy for yeah. me to write. So totally a reward. <laughs> yeah. And um, you're a big fan of uh, PBS Mysteries. In mm -hmm. fact, you were looking at our collection yeah. of mysteries here and you, and you said, I've seen just about everything. Yeah, I mean, I love um, I mean, just Inspector Lingley and, right. you know, of course, all the Agatha Christie's that you do, and, and right. we just really enjoy them. Uh, Nancy Drew inspired you as a kid, mm -hmm. Agatha Christie, certainly as a as teenager. teenager. Mm -hmm. uh, what are, who, who are some of the, the mystery writers who ha have inspired you as well in, in your more formative years? If yeah, you will. I mean, I guess I would say Anne Perry, who ri also writes uh -huh. historical mysteries. Yeah. I really, um, I've always enjoyed what she writes, and um, uh, Patricia uh, Cornwell, um, okay. I, I really enjoy her writing as well. Just yeah. they sort of, even though they're not all history, the, they sort of transport you to a different time and place, which I really enjoy. Right. And you really transport mm -hmm. transport the <laughs> the readers to a, a time and place back to the the 1600s. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, what 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 is your uh, your fascination with history in general? Mm -hmm. I I think I've always just really enjoyed um, reading about people and places other than my own. And um, I, I got the opportunity to uh, to work in London for a bit, and so mm -hmm. I was able to do some firsthand research as well. And um, I think I just I just am so fascinated by how why things are today the way they are, and what how do we learn that from the past? Uh, it's just something I've always just always really enjoyed. Yeah. Now you said that it took you uh, ten years to write this mm -hmm. first book, yes. um, and kind of because you uh, you didn't have a lot of time to mm -hmm. do it. You. you were you, were you raising your kids at the time? Yeah, and, and I didn't even know I was writing a book. I mean, I was just, you know, writing scenes here yeah. and there, and I just didn't even know it was going to be. I didn't think of myself as an author. I just thought uh, of myself as a writer. If right. The distinction you being someone who's just starting out and trying. And right. I didn't view myself as someone who would so get published. wake up one day and say, I'm going to write a novel. <laughs> yep, but I did not do that. Jotting just, things down. Nope. I just one day, I actually, I did tell my husband after about eight years, I said, so I've been writing. I, I kind of have a, I had about 250 pages of a 300-page book. And I yeah. said, uh, he says, you're writing a novel. I said, yes. But I just hadn't wanted to tell people because it's hard to make that distinction later. Yeah, because once you say I'm writing something, they, they go, expect well, it. yeah, <laughs> And if it takes you 10 years, yes. you don't want to be answering it. Where is right. it for 10 years? Yeah. Um, <laughs> So the titles, A Murder mm -hmm. at Rosamond's Gate, where, where does that title come from? They come from the tracks that I used to use, the, the kind of um, news that people would write at this time. So I thought it's the kind that uh, people would have actually written. So it's, there's a, a place in London that I created called Rosamond's Gate. Rosamond's uh, Gate, okay. Mm -hmm. And From the Charred Remains is about the fire, All uh, right. what, what's discovered after the fire. Okay.